And so welcome everyone. This is our last um, General Assembly of the year for, the, for SGM. So I'm excited to see people joining that I maybe haven't seen for a while and others new faces, I'm loving it. Um, and we will be letting in others that are coming a bit late. It was a struggle with a sign up for some. So before further ado, I'm actually, for those that don't know, I'm going to introduce you to my um, co-host, which is Charles Holmes, who's um, on the SGM board, but also has been in the founding co-creation group um, back in the days in 2018. So Charles, I'm going to let you take it from here for the first step. Awesome. Good morning, everyone. Maya, thank you for the uh, the music selection. Um, walking in a winter wonderland, I'm in uh, Vancouver, uh, British Columbia. It's six o'clock in the morning, and I can't see the whiteness outside uh, because it's pitch dark. Um, but it is a winter wonderland here. We have uh, about maybe 10 centimeters of snow on the ground, and uh, it's starting to feel a bit like Christmas. Uh, in this winter wonderland. So thanks, Maya, for that uh, that that uh, Spanish version of the upbeat uh, of the upbeat song. Um, was it 2018, Nikki? That uh, that was the first time that I I met uh, the folks at, at SGM and had the opportunity to be a, a part of some ongoing the ongoing initial conversation. So it's a it's a real honor. Um, I'm joining from uh, what we want always refer to. Uh, as Indigenous uh, lands. These are the Indigenous lands of the uh, Musqueam, the Squamish, and the Tsleil-Waututh First Nations. And here in Canada, uh, in all meetings, we start those meetings with an acknowledgement of the uh, of the original traditional lands uh, that we uh, are, are incredibly fortunate uh, to be residing on and honoring those peoples. So in whatever way is appropriate for you, I, I invite you to just be aware of, of, of the land that supports you wherever you are uh, in the world and joining us from this morning. And to, to, to bring us uh, into uh, the, our conversation together, this is, you know, the, this, this, this meeting is really intended as a, as a reflective, uh, a celebratory, uh, to reflect together on, on on what our our work together and in our communities uh, has meant to us. So I'm um, going to take you through just a bit of a grounding uh, guided uh, meditation to start with. So I'd invite you to just you know set your set your hands on your lap, get away from your keyboard, pens, anything else uh, that might distract you, and and uh, either if you're comfortable, close your eyes or uh, a soft gaze. And um, just invite you to take a deep breath. And as you breathe in, just feel the air filling your lungs. As you breathe out, let go of any pressures you're feeling right now, any distractions. As you breathe in another deep breath, feel the nourishment of the oxygen filling your lungs filling you with life-giving, life-force energy. And just notice your breath going in and out. Be aware of how you're sitting. Sit up straight. If you're in a chair, feel the chair against the small of your back, your feet on the floor. And just invite you for a moment to just reflect on the year the challenges, some of the struggles that you've had, that your community has had, that we've seen in the world. There have been so many of them. What has pushed you, challenged you on your learning edge, your growth edge? Remember to be aware of your breath. And now just shift your focus to what you're what you're deeply grateful for in the last year. What what would you celebrate as we 
enter this holiday season and the end of another year, what are the things that you feel deeply grateful for and, and worthy of celebration? Think of those moments where you've connected deeply with friends, with community members, with families, where you've seen other people's eyes light up in gratitude and thanks. Think about the people you've collaborated with to positively impact your community wherever that might be. Again, take a deep breath. You're ready. Open your eyes. And in keeping with the practices of the work that we do, um, it's about uh, it's all about connection and community, and in this case, one other C, celebration, celebration, connection, and community. And we're going to invite you uh, into a conversation with a few other people to share uh, what's something from this past year that uh, that you're celebrating that you feel deeply grateful for. And Nikki, remind me how much time people will have in their breakouts. We have about five minutes. Sorry, I was <laughs> trying to do mute a bit, a, li a little longer about um, Mike, do correct me 10 minutes. Great. Yes. So obviously, if you haven't met, introduce yourselves, where you are, a little bit about the nature of, of what you're doing in your community and uh, what's something uh, you would celebrate uh, and share that with each other. And we'll see you back here in the main room shortly. Hi, MF and Nusungwe, are you struggling? Oops. Hello? Now I get it. You guys are changing us. Were we changing you? I think so. Oh, I thought you were in the same room. No, I, I was with Rafa there. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm very good. Where are you? I'm in Nova Friburgo. Ah, ok. Você yeah. fala português, então a gente pode falar português. Eu falo, claro, claro, sempre. Tá frio aí, porque aqui em São Paulo tá tão frio e chovendo, tá estranho. É frio, tem muita chuva, chuva sem parar, na verdade, é, é bem chato. Eu quero sol. <laughs> E aí, como que você tá? Como foi teu ano? Foi ótimo, foi, foi cheio de coisas, cheio de, de mudanças, mas foi muito bom. Ah, que ótimo. Welcome back, everyone. Maya, a major, major flaw. Please put us back in our rooms um, for another uh, 40 minutes at least, please. <laughs> 
We need it, please. <laughs> I, I, I just want to say, Camila and Jonathan and Anna, what an absolute gift uh, to spend that time with you. And emails were being exchanged and the best five minutes about possibilities. Uh, yeah, they would say that again, Camila. The best five minutes I've ever had lately. <laughs> Mila, uh, I, I missed your email, so please drop me an email I'll, later. I'll send it right away. Uh, so All welcome. Right. <laughs> welcome welcome back everyone yeah actually uh nikki we're done i mean we're just gonna we're the four of us are just gonna go back you guys carry on so we do have a few minutes to hear a couple of highlights uh and we it, there are probably many um and so if we don't have a chance to to hear yours in the time that we have put a comment about uh what struck you in the uh in the uh in the chat uh but would love to hear you know from from a few people, uh, what what was it that energized you uh, in that uh, in that conversation? And uh, Camila, maybe just because you started, I'm going to put you on the spot. Um, what made it the best five minutes ever? Um, you know, especially this morning, like really magical things have been happening all year round, but today has been like I don't know, crazy. Well, what we just live those five minutes, like connecting, like listening to you, listening to Jonathan, um, showing you this amazing space. Uh, there's so many reasons to be uh, thankful. You know, it's like I could take the whole time of this meeting talking about what we should be thankful as uh, our specific team. But I don't know. I just I'm thank for the magic. I think it has been really magical lately. Thank, thank you so much, Camila and Anna. Thank you for your comment in the uh, in the chat. And I'm sorry uh, we didn't get your voice in our in our small group, but I so agree the joy and vibrancy uh, when we talk about social purpose and meaning and impact and and how we use food uh, to support and accomplish that. Others, just hear anyone. What struck you in your in your small group conversation, Sandra? Go ahead. I I was talking and uh, I expressed my feelings out about the food. Uh, food I grew up in a, in the food. We grew, growing our food in a very small village, and that and my father always used to sell fruits. But we were talking about I uh, used to my, my here in the United States. I was working a diamond a company. He specialized in, in diamonds and luxury, a jewelry, watch. But at the same time, I was offering my dinner to raise money to my community. And for 15 years, I was offering the, the dinner called Brazil Comes to You. I had this, my husband said, let's offer Brazil one dinner to raise money. And I offer one year, Después, after another year, another year. And um, my dinner, believe it or not, someone crazy paid $5,000 for the community. And so the community discovered that's where they can come to get money with my dinner. And so I always, I always give the dinner and my time and I didn't charge anything. And people start to say, you can get a 30%. I said, no, that's not the idea. Well, one day I was working at the Macy's and someone called, say, hi, I want to hire you. I said, sir, I work here at Macy's. No, as a chef. And uh, it was the, the fire department to, 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 to uh -huh. They want my dinner. I said, oh, I'm not a, I'm not a chef. I never been a culinary arts, but I cook since I'm 13. He said, is is a deal. And so I wait, <laughs> and I oh, open, really? I open my little business called Brazil comes to you. And uh, after the pandemic, I was cooking for the homeless for 12 for the whole year, the whole pandemic. When I came back to work with the jewelry selling diamonds. I got the present. I really got the present, and I said, "Oh, why am I selling twenty-five thousand diamonds when I'm cooking for the homeless for the mm -hmm. whole entire pandemic?" So I quit the job, and here I am in my solo career, trying to selling the idea, eating fresh and healthy without waste food in the United States. <laughs> oh, Sandra, congratulations. You know, listening to you, you you've encapsulated 
the, in so many ways, the heart and soul of, of SGM, which is little ideas that start with a deep care and love ripple. And you have no idea where those ideas are going to go. Uh, it's, it's beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. And congratulations Thank on making you. that, making that you, move. You can follow you can follow me on Instagram if you have a call Brazil with S, okay? Put it because, put it put it in the chat for us, Sandra. Ah, uh, okay. Be because be the real Brazil is is with S. That's great. That's great. Anyone else uh, want to share just briefly something that struck you or something that you personally are celebrating as you reflect on 2022? Uh, can I just add something else? I'm celebrating my husband because my husband is a physician and he got cancer in his trough. And oh. he, he lost his voice for six months. And um, it is a long story, but it was diagnosed exactly the end of the pandemic. I think it was so much stress from the, the pandemic. But anyways, um, he's, he's, he's getting better. And that's my year. And I didn't stop it any second to help our community and help him. He came for 139 pounds. Now he's 164 pounds. Mm. And he's speaking and his taste came back and they, he doesn't have saliva. But anyways. Uh, very wow. Wow. Oh, thank you, Sandra. We'll hold him in our prayers. Thank you. Okay. I, we celebrate, I think what struck me is uh, celebrating change and embracing that change is accepting the, you know, whatever happened the year of a journey was part of our journey <laughs> in that sense, but it's, um, but it all ends up towards what it's supposed to end up. So I think that was a recurring theme somewhere. Mm. We did gonna... as well, happy to survive <laughs> and thrive. So we added to the Beyonce song and Bibi might want to sing this out. <laughs> <laughs> that's great that's wonderful thanks nikki and uh we uh rodrigo christine and i we celebrate the diversity uh leveraging diversity this year was to um to be more uh connected together uh to um, uh to increase also the inclusion uh, and um uh, and we had the opportunity to to better learn uh, about the SGM uh, goals and um, also to better know uh, about uh, um, our um, background. So really, really great to celebrate the diversity that um, uh, um, we we had this year. Thank you so much, Davida. Diversity and the power of how much stronger we are when we celebrate and connect that diversity. So this theme of, of celebration, uh, of, of gratitude, of community, uh, the power of connection um, is going to continue uh, through this the rest of the time uh, that we have together. But I'm going to turn it over to uh, Maya and Zungwa right now uh, for the next uh, Next phase and thank you for checking in and uh anna and jonathan and camila thank you so much uh for the the small group conversation it was a delight a great way to start a early morning so i'm not going to take up too much time doing an introduction because um oops, sorry uh we have a interesting presentation style today all right, can you guys see my screen? Cool. All right, we're timing ourselves. <laughs> 2022 was another year full of challenges, but also growth, connection, collective action, and impact. We have a lot to celebrate here today. So Nasungwe and I are gonna guide us through a little Pecha Kucha flashback of some of our achievements, our favorite achievements from throughout this year. Way back in the first semester, we created, um, we ran our co-created webinar series called the Social Gastronomy in Practice. 
uh, where we worked alongside alliances and participated in major global events, um, entering a deep dialogue around the state of our food systems and showcasing the many uh, solutions, ideas, innovations that exist within this movement. Many of you are there, you can see your faces. One major milestone for us this year was the team's participation in the DELA program from Ashoka and IKEA Social Entrepreneurship. In this program, we put hundreds of collective hours and brain power alongside the generous presence of expert consultants uh, to refine our systems change journey. And many of you have already embarked on the first step with us as the, with the co-creation of social gastronomy principles. The pilot of our collective impact program culminated in five host teams convening their first plenums, leading towards the creation of local multi-stakeholder action teams who are actively working to build equitable and secure food systems involving the active engagement and participation of the community. A special shout out to everyone who's a member from host teams in Medellin, Twin Cities, Mertola, Nepal, and Chile. Thank you, Maya. Um, so prior to the summit kickoff, we held our first ever pre-summit workshops. So in the months of July and August, three workshops brought together past and prospective participants to create a space for learning and best practices exchange around the universal plate, table, and gatherings. I'm sure you can see yourselves as well in the um, shot over there. Um, so we move on to the universal table. For this year's SGM universal table, food system stakeholders from across sectors and borders gathered to discuss the possibilities um, of food systems transformation in the midst of COVID, climate emergency, conflict, and rising costs. The discussion left us with so much food for thought and ideas for action. We are so grateful to the talented Rodrigo, who's here today, for the illustration. Uh, for illustrating the discussion in real time. This was a year of amazing collaborations for us. With the help of SGM, Global Citizen and Action Against Hunger convened a fruitful universal table dialogue. Sitting at the table were zero hunger practitioners, experts and advocates who provided insights on implementing solutions to address global hunger. The universal table spread around the, spread around the uh, world this year. So in addition to the global universal table and the global citizen collaboration, communities came together for dialogue and connection around social gastronomy at local level in Geneva, Istanbul, Madrid, Malmo, Bologna, Medellin, Rio de Janeiro, New York, we kicked off um, the Universal Plate Summit uh, on the 1st of September, all throughout Hunger Action Month and ending on uh, World Food Day. So for six weeks, we came together again to serve our communities and show the power of sharing a meal and standing in solidarity in ensuring access to good food for all. The impact was beyond our expectation and I'm sure yours as well. Um, so this year, we got uh, the youth involved in the Universal Plate campaign by collaborating with the World Food Forum. Together, we launched a knowledge sharing campaign on our opening of the World Food Forum's um, flagship event, which took place in Rome. We raised awareness on the growing food insecurity and the urgent need for food systems transformation. 71 million meals were shared during this year's Universal Plate campaign. This amazing number is evidence of what we can achieve when we take collective action to fight for the right to good food for all. The SGM summit success is as a result of the action in 27 countries across 1,201 cities throughout the Universal Plate or through the Universal Plate um, with about 20 million kilos of food recovered from waste. Since September, 
We've been working with experts from the Della program alongside many of you from the community to co-create our set of social gastronomy principles, and we'll be presenting them to all of you for validation after we've consolidated the output of, um, of the series of four intensive co-creation sessions. Um, so we can't wait to see what actions and practices will come out of this co-creation. Here you can see the overview of our growing community as we welcome new members from across sectors, borders, and experiences. We notice the breadth of focuses, activity areas, and goals represented within our, within our movement. Our collective power lies in this diversity, bringing in unique perspectives, innovations, and ideas to share. The most powerful movements are those that are decentralized and driven by the agency and action of each person who makes up who's a part of the movement. This year, so many of you took on the role of amplifying the spirit of social gastronomy in your community and on the global stage. We celebrate each one of you today and are so grateful for your help in making this yet another exciting and impactful year for the social gastronomy movement. Ooh, on time. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Wow. My, Maya Nzungu, as I, you know, as I listen to you, I, I, what comes to mind is the, a famous Margaret Mead quote, and I'm going to change it a little bit. Never doubt that a small group of committed gastronauts can change the world. In fact, it's the only thing that ever has. It's absolutely super you know and 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 again my as i as i listened the the image that just kept coming to mind is the is this mobius loop of you know the local community is on one side and then on the outside is the connection to the global and the global is the local and the local is the global i mean this this interconnection uh of the efforts of those who are who are committed to using food uh as a tool for social change is just uh, extraordinary and uh, inspiring uh, to see. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to compliment your your your, your words. The day, uh, the word for day, I was we we were preparing the snack food to send to Seattle to deliver in Seattle. It has to be fresh. Um, we were out from the food, and I went to Walmart to buy more fruits. And I said, well, I'm here at Walmart. Why not ask the manager if they want to engage in our in our in community service? I went there and, and the lady waiter, she came in and explained. I, I showed the whole picture of what we have done in our community. She said, I am so sorry. I can't give the food. You have to go online and make the application. I said, man, I don't have time. I need to go to Seattle in one hour. And then so I went to buy, and then three minutes later she said, "Go ahead and get whatever you need for your your community service. Your completely your one hundred bags." Literally, I left for Walmart like a kid. A, ah! <laughs> uh, thanks, Sandra. It's it. a great time. Yeah. It's beautiful. And and it's a reflection of of something that I also see over and over again in the in the WhatsApp conversations and in these gatherings that SGM hosts. And that's the uh, the courage to ask and the, the power. You just never know uh, what people will say when you when you lean in and and ask. So, um, Mike, I think you're going to talk a little bit about um, some of the survey results. Yeah, not actually, it's not the results. Hello, everyone. So Maya, if you could please share your screen. I would like to ask everyone to, you know, um, answer our survey and take a few minutes just to answer our survey. We're going to give you like, you know, three minutes, five minutes. It's very short, but we really need your inputs here, your suggestion, your contribution here. Um, and please uh, feel free, you know, to express what you want to for SGM next year, what you are expecting for us next year. Any suggestion, any feedback is very welcome here. So please take a few minutes and answer the survey. The survey is on the chat, the link, but also here, if you point out your cell phone, your mobile, you can access the survey as well. Should we put a beautiful song back? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put it. <laughs> yeah, I have to take down my. If everybody like that didn't get the QR code, it's there in the chat. Um, so I'll play music. <laughs> 
Thanks, Maya. I just want to uh, acknowledge, um, as people are finishing the survey, Nicodemus, uh, who put a note in uh, in the chat from Kenya, we, we may not have the chance to go around and hear from each person. So just, you know, anytime you have a moment uh, to introduce yourself, to pose a question, uh, to share anything that you think would be valuable to others, please just drop it into the chat. And of course, if if someone's comment triggers you to think about a connection, um, as just happened um, between Nicodemus and I, uh, do that too. Can I get a quick check on how people are on the survey, if we should move on or give it a little moment more? If you put your thumbs up, I take it you've done the survey. <laughs> A few thumbs coming and a few not yet. So let's give it just a minute more. More thumbs coming. Yay. Awesome. I see a lot of thumbs. Please do feel free to continue also if you want to um, take more time afterward. The link is open and people will receive the link afterward as well. But then I'll take uh, take it next because we looked at the year in review that we had together this year. And now we're going to look a little bit on the year ahead, what's bubbling. And um, everything that you're going to hear about is not in much detail yet because there's a great space for co-creation still. We're going to have a little invite to everyone who wants to build further on the ideas that you're going to hear about now. So one of the things that became really evident this year um, is that those local um, gatherings and um, roundtables that the community hosted were always magic, always bringing people together, you know, that magic will emerge. And so on that inspiration, there is something that many of you have missed profoundly, that I have missed profoundly, are our um, gatherings um, to come together from across the globe and to embark on a local learning journey or co-creation session. And so we are back on the connection pillar with learning journeys next year. So we want to um, pilot on how we could make that as a core element of um, what we do in this um, impact network. So 
there will be local but also virtual learning journeys and um, obviously we're continuing on bringing and designing the SGM membership so we can add as much value to everyone that is part of this beautiful community um, through from the map to other digital tools. The general assembly will continue, though we are planning to reduce the cadence a little bit since there are more and more connection points throughout the years. We will have an opening and a closing general assembly next year. At the end of this one, we're already going to be able to actually share uh, the date of the one at the beginning of the year next year. So you make sure it's already penciled in in your agendas. And then um, on the collaboration and acting together, we are going to continue with our local roundtables that we prototyped with many of you in your local re um, realities and, and communities. We got such beautiful feedback of connections and actions that emerged. So that is something we want to bring back to the community. So uh, if you have already held a local roundtable this year or are curious about it, um, first of all, get in touch with Mike. <laughs> who can share a little bit more. There will be plenty of workshops next year, but you can also learn more about from others that have done it um, or plan your next one. So that local roundtables to start with dialogue in your local communities around a specific topic, like Nick in Kenya. I know we're waiting for the local roundtable around food waste on how you can start with coll uh, collaborative action in, in your local community. Uh, further, we're going to, of course, have a universal plate campaign, uh, World Food Day, already pencil it in. You heard a lot of excitement from, from Sandra before, so you can start planning. It's going to be again around World Food Day. So we're going to reduce actually from the six weeks um, different model this week, the run up to World Food Day for our Hunger Action Month. We're back to really focusing our actions for World Food Day um, and the week around, because I know it's sometimes difficult to do things on the weekends. Um, one more thing, we are coming back with, a we're coming with a community building uh, course where we can actually build our collective capacity um, to bring together community. We've gotten um, feedback that people want to learn more about how to bring people together, how to build this community that we're building on a global level uh, in their local neighborhoods or cities as well. So that's something, stay tuned, that will be coming up as well. And last but not least, um, you've heard in many encounters this year around the um, host teams um, from the Collective Impact Program. So that continues and there will also be a capacity building course um, around the framework, but also in terms of facilitation, how to bring people together and collaboration, which is one of the core pillars of this GM. So as I mentioned, either now for those that are actually here um, or Afterward, when you're watching this, you can also reach out to me directly. So just ping me an email um, if you would like to be part of designing any of these, because there is, you see a few new elements and we constantly as well improve uh, what we do together through the learnings of the year. So do send me an email if you want to be part of co-creating in the next weeks um, some of these actions, because we want to make sure that we get everyone's voice heard as we design these. So that's it for what's ahead next year. So I hopefully get to see many of you in person actually through either um, the learning journeys or through the local roundtables. Thank you so much, Nikki. Um, we're going to move in just a minute to a conversation on values and I want to share a brief story about it. But before, before doing that, um, if you could, if there's anything that you've heard that Nikki has shared about the year ahead that um, is exciting or compelling or Oh, we've got some a bit of background noise. There we go. Um, or anything per per Nikki's request that you feel particularly motivated or compelled to say, hey, I want to I want to really help. Please, please, please just pop pop your suggestion uh, in the uh, in the chat. Um, and, you know, I, I see some questions there. Uh, for example, please, you know, people that want to be part of the WhatsApp. Um, Mike, I presume you can reach out and uh, and bring people into the the WhatsApp group, which is just so inspiring. So, David, I see your hand up. Hi, 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 hi everyone. I know it's something that uh, it came to me because I met Mark in our small group, and he reminded me of our summit in Miami. And when I see half a disease and all of you, Paola here, and faces start to pop up. I think one of the hardest things for me this year was understanding my place, Gastromotiva's place, 
into this new era after COVID, which still I don't have all the answers, but meeting Rafa, meeting Nick, meeting some of you, uh, I think for me was a great support. And I hope we can do something um, uh, not virtual next year. I think the summits we had in the beginning, they were expanding in order for us to be here. I, I really know how hard it is to fundraise for those summits. But if we can have some dates, and I think what happened now in Turkey, that whoever could go there went and uh, would be incredible, you know, if we know local summits now, Rafa is coming with Nyam again. I don't know. I think sometimes the little effort, if we pay the, the ticket and we can have some kind of funding there to support accommodation and food. I don't know uh, if, if you guys want to start doing this again, I would love to reconnect in this kind of planning because I think it really makes a difference and uh, the level of connectivity is the level that we know that changes everything, it changes my relationship to you, Charles, and to everybody. And I think it's one of the things that I most miss from all of us, the learning journeys together when we go and we, we do some action together and we get out of there look at each other the same because we all do this in our private our professional private lives but when we do it all together insights come and we go back to our organizations with a new understanding of something that you could never imagine sometime a different public to attend that you're not seeing but doesn't take more effort and also the friendship that we created and we can really emerge this love and connectivity so i just wanted to to when mark said oh i remember you you call me the spice man I, actually it, it took it took me to that one moment of me and him and the spice man that connected us for life because of that little moment uh david that's thank you so much and such a wonderful reminder of something that we can hold on to for 2023 absent uh the limits of covid to actually be together and and uh nikki and mike um i think we designate david as the chief fundraiser uh for at least two summits in uh in 2023 so thanks for volunteering david i really really we really appreciate it and yeah uh, it's it's awesome. So the the thought of the thought of being physically together and David, it's a beautiful segue into uh, another memory uh, that I have uh, that connects us to the next point in our agenda, which is is the values of SGM, and that memory is being in a. Um, my memory is a bit of a rickety rental car with you and Nikki and Rafa and Patrick, and it was late at night. And we were driving back from the, the coast of Chile uh, into Santiago. Uh, we had spent uh, two days on the coast in, in that place near the beach. Uh, I'll never forget you and Rafa and Patrick cooking and talking about what, what, are, what are we doing together? How do, we, how do we build on these summits? How do we take SGM and create clarity as to how the pieces fit together? And as we were driving back and coming into uh, Santiago, it was, well, let's let, why don't we, before we get back and go back to our busy lives, talk about our values and what's important to us. And I remember each of us in the car sharing, here's one of my core values. And out of that, well, what are the core values of SGM that guide us, that help us stay anchored and connected to what's important? And that was the beginning of a conversation that has evolved and been informed by many other people in terms of what the core values are. And, and I think it's this opportunity to just reconnect to those uh, as well uh, as part of part of this conversation. So I think Mike, I'm, is it, am I turning it to you or Nikki? I can't remember. Thanks, David. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. Yeah. Uh, those values appearing every in every conversation that I know having this year. So in every single panel that we are attending, those values are very important. So I think especially this year, you know, is the come coming back year, as David mentioned. So a lot of institutions, a lot of people that are doing social gastronomy are trying to bring those values into, you know, the reality. So I think it's really important for us just to share again with all of you the social gastronomy values and also giving examples because our members, you guys are already following, you know, the, our values. And I just want to 
invite some 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 of our members representing the whole community here we cannot inviting everyone to speak but and we, we selected a few members and i would like to start with davide so davide could you please share a little bit about our value service and everything that we've done in medellin in colombia this year with the universal plate sure um yeah uh, for me uh, service uh, talking about services, the recognition of uh, solidarity, uh, which is uh, real um, uh, in contrast with the term uh, charity. Uh, so um, this year and uh, with the universal place, uh, um, I really uh, experienced the um, the equality uh, of the relationship with the other members uh, uh, that uh, um, uh, was uh, connected uh, here in Medellin to um, uh, to uh, to work and to uh, to to build uh, the, the the energy uh, to to have a universal plate uh, uh, here for at least uh, four thousand people. So. The idea was to have a horizontal relationship and um, uh, achieve our goals. And uh, it was really interesting to, uh, to co-create together and to find solutions together. So that's the, the real uh, experience. We delivered a lot of uh, uh, food uh, for people. Uh, I remember the eyes of people uh, that received our food uh, and uh, it was really interesting. It was... Uh, um, um, a service. We we served. We paid attention to um, to each other, listening uh, to each other, and uh, was really a, a great um, a great uh, um, opportunity to meet um, or, to, or to create connection between uh, uh, food industry um, association foundations. Um, uh, um, a lot of uh, stakeholders that are in the food system. So really appreciate the, the, the opportunity that I have with the social gastronomy movement. And uh, um, I, I really uh, had the opportunity to, um, to better um, know um, um, potential actors for uh, other actions in the future. Cool. Thank you so much, David, and thank you for the, the hard working and mobilizing a lot of actors in Medellin and bringing everyone together. It was like really cool for us, you know, to have that universal plate um, big again in Colombia and in Medellin. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, representing equity, uh, I would like to invite Paola. Paola uh, is always, you know, part of our um uh, our, our movement. And Paola, I know you are, I don't know if you are there, she's still there, uh, but I want to invite Paola to speak about the CLP this year, uh, a little bit of your experience and how you bring equity into the CIP is one of our values. And, and thank you so much for being here again. Um, <clears throat> equity, yeah, I, I think since we joined, because we're, Platos, like uh, I'm representing Platos Sin Fronteras here. And since we joined, it has been such a wonderful journey because we have been almost in all different kinds of programs. If it was in learning journeys or, um, or or now also like an active part of CIP of those collective impact programs. And um, for me, like it became very strong, like last year when I was still like uh, a lot involved also in Bogota when we did this huge uh, action with all different kind of uh, chefs and foundations and with the public sector with government like you know like representatives from the government and we were all together like sitting at the same table and having we kind of like brought the values to the to the local to a local level and i really i realized when we had those discussions where community members were suddenly sitting <clears throat> with professors academics with representatives from the private sectors davide from griffith um, and we were like all sitting together and having those conversations and making people uh, part of, of, of the dialogue and of, of, of making them understand what social gastronomy also means. So for me, um, being in those common spaces, co-creating, 
um, those actions as universal play together. That's for me like, like uh, yeah, it's re representing in a way equity and how we're fostering it and living it also locally. And that's why I think having those global meetings as, as David was saying and fostering like global friendships and then how do we bring it down to, to the local level? Um, so yeah, so that's uh, <laughs> my experience so far, Mike, thank you. Thank you, Paul. Um, and we are keep traveling in South America. So I want to invite Winnie, Winnie from Gastromochiva, because this year at Gastromochiva, we had a really cool universal table. Uh, and that universal table, we discuss about food security. And Winnie is going to talk about how collaboration, one of our values, emerged to put up together that universal table in Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, we have to, we have the opportunity to reunite all the social cooks that we we have re here in Rio. Um, it was very special uh, because uh, we have the opportunity to be here in the repertorio, sharing uh, the value uh, to help each other to realize. Um, uh, things for our community, for our territories. Um, we have a bunch of initiat initiatives uh, that are so different that uh, offer uh, not only food, but um, the, the most uh, important thing uh, as food as a human right. Um, and so it was amazing. We, we, we have the opportunity to reflect. Um, my, my sound is not so good, Mike. Are you listening to me? No, I'm listening perfect. to you. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Yes. Because I am listening to uh, a uh, noise, so it's, it's very bad for me. Um, but that's all. Uh, we have a project. We have NGOs with us. Uh, here in Rio, I don't know if you know, but we have a bunch of solidarity kitchens that it, it's very uh, near from us here in Refetorio. So it was very beautiful, very beautiful. Thank you, Winnie. Thank you so much. And thank you for the whole team that is involved in all that. There's a lot of, you know, minds and hands involved in every single action that we made this year. So thank you all the community as well for everything for, you know, we put up together and you guys embrace. Um, it's, it's just a pleasure, you know, to be part of this community and working together with all of you. I want to invite for our next value, Maya. Ne our next value is about gratitude and we're gonna hold an exercise, Maya. Charles, I'll pass it back to you to introduce the, the gratitude and gift session. Awesome. Thanks, Maya. I just, you know, before we do that, I, I just invite everyone to, you know, as you've heard these, these shares, the values of service. What does service mean to you and how does it show up uh, in your community? The value of equity and inclusion. How does equity show up for you in the work that you're doing and how is it important? The value of celebration. Sometimes we forget to pause and, and celebrate. So how does celebration show up in, in your work? And then finally, the value of gratitude, what you're, what you're grateful for. And just, you know, these are the values that have been core to guiding the efforts of the core team, but they've also been values that we've attempted to weave into and share in all communications and all interactions. And so with that in mind, uh, we're going to go into our our last uh, uh, sort of last kind of conversation or exercise around uh, around gifts. And you know it connects a little bit back to the first conversation we had in our our small group around what are you celebrating? But our invitation is to, be a little a little more more specific in thinking about this global community, the social gastronomy network, the movement, this broader community, and your own local community. What are the gifts that you've received uh, personally from your work and the work that you've done? 
Um, just to give you an example, I mean, I, I th th there are times where I can't keep up with the WhatsApp flow. There, there are days where people will just be, the examples will just be flooding. Um, and the gift that I receive from just staying connected through the WhatsApp is the reminder of uh, courage. Uh, the courage that people have had to, you know, whether as Sandra shared with us, leave a job to follow her passion, um, the courage to bring people together in community to serve those who are most in need. I mean, and and the other gift that I've received from that is inspiration. Um, this is just such an inspiring group. So as Maya has put in the chat, thank you, Maya. What are the gifts you've received from the work in your community? And what are the gifts you feel you've given uh, back to the community? What's And you could be either or on these. And our invitation is to just take a minute right now and if it's helpful for you to write a note to yourself, we're going to be asking you to put this in a chat in a minute, but you're going to be in a, a small group to share. We're going to have another small group conversation, uh, but we're going to ask you when we come back from the small group to put into the chat. And this is uh, this will be part of some of what Rodrigo is going to be capturing uh, visually. And we saw some of Rodrigo's beautiful uh, visual capture earlier in Maya and in Zuma's presentation. So thank you, Rodrigo. So again, the questions in the chat. And in just a moment, we are going to be going into uh, into small groups again uh, to share with each other the gift you've received from your work with SGM or the gift you've received in your local community and or something you feel you've given. Hi, Brian. It's great to see you. Everybody um, is coming back from breakout rooms right now. So okay, pouring in soon and you're coming in for the best part, the gratitude part. So <laughs> well, we were, you know, I was on a, a nonprofit board that I, I sit on. So I was um, participating in that. So I know I'm touching the very end of this and I'm sorry. No, it's the best part. So <laughs> you awesome. should see some smiling faces coming back. Great. <laughs> you know, if there was if there was one word, welcome back, everybody, that I would use to describe SGM, uh, it's magic. Um, and I just experienced magic. Um, David uh, Calvi, uh, who, uh, who who lives in Lisbon, uh, was in my breakout group uh, together with you, Eugenio and Rodrigo. And and uh, David said, well, I'm just new to the, I'm just new to this this movement. And uh, I was attending a a workshop on the donut economy and I was in a breakout room with somebody from Vancouver and he told me about this and I said oh who is the person from Vancouver because I live in Vancouver and what whose name does David say my best friend Adam Lerner <laughs> so it's it's this magic of never underestimate the power of these connections and how they how they ripple and to see Eugenio in my group uh, just warmed my heart. Eugenio and I met uh, with uh, um, in a meeting with the Dalai Lama in 2006, and then our paths just keep crossing it with SGM. It's it's just absolutely magical. So the gift, uh, the gift of connection, the gift of serendipity, uh, the gift of meaning and purpose, uh, it just flowed. And so our invitation to each of you is if you could uh, just put in the chat, uh, what is the gift or what is a gift and feel free to add more than one um, that you've received from either this community uh, or the uh, or the work in your own community we'll just take a we'll just take about a minute and ask you to write that um, before we hear some uh, closing reflective comments
So it's super important to see these in writing. And I know that uh, people are still adding, but uh, we'd also like to invite uh, a few voices. Um, sorry, I got really excited about my group. <laughs> but anyone else that wants to build on the uh, the gift that you've mentioned in the chat, we'd love to hear. Love to hear voices. Go ahead, Anna. Oi, <laughs> uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm in not the best circumstances to show my face, but uh, I want to show and to share my excitement uh, for having discussed with Lala, um, Venezuelan uh, working in Colombia, and uh, it's amazing how um, we were discussing from about one of the most remote places uh, in that amazing country, Colombia, and the Choco, where we both have been, and we have uh, been. Uh, trying to help and support communities to address uh, their issues with regards to their nutrition and access to their livelihoods. It was amazing to see that uh, we both have been there and share the same approaches that are very much um, avoiding the top-down approach, but a more grass-rooted, um, participative, and uh, and also the, the joy of having that, that approach and the curiosity that has brought us to discover so many amazing options uh, that uh, people, communities have themselves, the agency to, to perhaps respond to their, to their issues. And th those are underestimated. And I think in this movement, we have the, the spirit and the curiosity and the respect more than anything of uh, tap on this uh, wisdom, that knowledge. And that for me, um, it's, it's, it comes to the summary of two words that I already uh, put in the chat, uh, hope, and also uh, the power of togetherness. Uh, hope, uh, especially in, in a very uh, critical moment in the world where we are overwhelmed by how, the, how things are in general, in terms of over, the health, the health of the planet, the people, uh, the critical situation with regards to the food, the uncertainties. Uh, and more than ever, we need the narratives that the social gastronomy movement can bring. And this is amazing. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm, I'm happy for this present that is given by the SGM. But also the SGM is, we are a little part of all of this. So all of us give this presence to all of, to all and each of us. Thanks for that. Over. Oh my gosh, Anna. Thank you so much. The, 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 the care, the passion, the love, and the energy in uh, in your voice uh, is just so inspiring. And you know that that I just couldn't agree more. The power of togetherness. We're not alone. We are so much more similar than we are different. And that when we come together like this, it uh, it creates hope. Uh, that sense of hope. So thank you. I'd love to hear a few more, Sandra. Um, I would you like to share. Uh, sometimes my English is not so good or sometimes I don't know how I express myself in English, especially 5 30 in the morning when we were working with the uh, co-creation and Paola, she just left it. She have helped me so much. Even Maya and, and Esky, uh, put, put, uh, uh, swing, uh, put down the idea and you'll be putting it on the, on the mirror. And uh, I, I just uh, want to express how much I became more confident about myself, about a, I, I can do, I, I can dream and I can become a community and bring the community together here and, and be black women living in a, in a community just a 0 0.5 black, all, all black. And as an immigrant, try to break a bear in this, in this white community where I live and be respected and um, I, I, right now, I've been doing um, raising money for Gastromotiva, which I do every year for three years. We are going on our three years. And um, I received a message from a lady saying, thank you 
for shining our community and shining your community in Brazil. It's nice to follow you with your passion, transforming lives. And she sent a $300 check. Wow. Oh, Sandra, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And I just, I, I love your words. Um, I can dream and I can do. And the courage to move from dreaming to doing is enhanced through the community uh, it's, it's, and the support. And, the, and thank you for the shout out to the extraordinary work of, of Maya and Paula and, and the others at SGM who make this make this possible that's thank you sandra so I, we're coming up to two minutes before the end of our time together i don't want to leave um but uh, uh i i'm sure as for many of you there are other things that are calling for me it's breakfast um so moving from this to some food is wonderful and i'm going to turn it over to nikki uh for uh, for closing uh this year's a general assembly and a special thank out to the entire the entire team Nasungwa and Mike and Maya and Paula and others uh, at SGM who have worked so tirelessly uh, and so committedly to this global extraordinary global network of people and advancing the movement and I'm just honored uh, to play what small part I can uh, in joining you and being a part so thank you everybody Nikki over to you Thank you, Charles. And I'm going to extend the shout out <laughs> to the entire community of, of members, partners, supporters. Like it's been, I think, the year that we most saw collaborations on so many levels. And, you know, like numbers and stories are just um, a testament to that. Like even looking at what we achieved together, what Maya Nusungwe shared at the beginning, I think uh, it's a testament to that commitment and passion from everyone as well. So that being said, we are one minute away. So thank you so much, everyone, for um, this lovely sharing and connection moment before the year ends. Um, all of the feedbacks collected, we're going to take on all of the emails to co-create the activities next year. Uh, please just reach out uh, the connection points that were created between you. And last but not least, there will be a calendar. This time we're really well organized. Nusungu was leading these efforts. We have a calendar that's in the making of SGM coordinated events, um, the local ones, um, as well as uh, the global milestones. So you can really get pl uh, planned for those, even if people to attend need local sponsorship, like there's plenty of time. And uh, we will be adding as well the activities that everyone holds in very local communities. So anyways, you'll receive a... Um, long follow-up email here for those that were able to be here in person or the ones that are watching the recording. So nothing but gratitude to everyone here. And um, thank you for making magic happen, bringing hope, possibility, love, inspiration to what we do on a daily basis. Just catching a few words. On time, yay. <laughs> Have a wonderful start to your day or end of the day for me. And see you soon, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Nick, Nick, can, can, can I show the draft? To, oh, wait. So I stay. Just... Yes, show. You were doing it already. So there's a big surprise, it's, guys. It's, so not, everything... it's not finished, uh, but but I, I love to, yeah. to show you. Please. Uh, the work in process. I, do, do you see? Yes, we can see. Uh, so uh, I have a, a little trouble with my brushes, uh, and I didn't want to stop and restart mm -hmm. the computer. So I I take these this these colors and this, these words and 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 I will finish. Um, so that's it. Thank you, Rodrigo. So this is our little surprise you would be getting in the email. <laughs> Rodrigo, <laughs> as usual, amazing, was capturing everything that everyone put in the chat or was sharing in terms of what we're grateful for and the gifts received or given. And that's going to be our co-created um, gift that others are going to receive. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> Thank you, Rodrigo, for sharing and capturing life. I did not expect that. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. We we should all have a thank you Charles. thank you everybody that. we should have a t-shirt with that on that's amazing 
And it's, I, I was just mentioning that it's, it looks even better than Mentimeter, you know, so nice and tidy, the, the colors, but this is amazing. It's, 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 a, it's a handcraft made with love. Alfresco, thank you so much. Gracias, if you want to share your Instagram in the chat, um, that way people can follow your work as well. Yes, thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. Lots of love to everybody and happy happy holiday. Uh, happy last month month of the of the year to everybody, wherever you are. All my love. Yeah,